haven't gotten much sleep for the past couple days, but that's not really new for me. Also, I can't hear out of this ear, which is vaguely off-putting, but I can't get myself to care too much about it. Hello. <laughs> um, this couch, this it's not even a couch, it's a bean bag. I have a bean bag, I bought a bean bag. It's ugly, it's ugly. And it's like this jean material, and it's like, I don't like it. And also like, I think I'm putting too much on it. Like I envisioned this cute little square couch for my space. And those are like upwards of $800. And I don't understand why it's literally like one sixth of a sectional. If a sectional is $1,200, why is a part of a sectional $1,200. I don't understand. Either way, I, I'm just going to deal with this $80 bean bag that I bought. Uh, it's because of the bean bag? Yeah. It's because of the bean bag that my life is tortured? It's still... All, all you can do is uh, die. Yeah. That's significantly less expensive than what I was going to do before, so... All right, Tiana, insert that fit check. I was gonna dress fancier today, and then I couldn't. <laughs> I got, I don't know, decision fatigue. It's a lot. I, <laughs> I'm having a hard time staying organized again, as usual. I was doing well for a while because I had an Adderall prescription, and then the doctor that I was seeing became out of network, and now I'm just like floundering. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how to get, it took me so long to get, <laughs> to get an intake in the first place. I don't know, I, I'm doing okay without medication. It's just like there was a significant difference in the way that I was staying organized and completing the things that I had to do. And also just, I don't know, it's, it's just wild to be like, is this what, is this how normal people are? Like they can, they can go step by step. Their minds just go A, B, C, D. I, I guess I'll get that figured out. And in the meantime, I will just go the slowest that I possibly can as far as getting this house in order. It's been like six weeks since I moved here. And I've gotten some things done. I got some things on the wall and I don't like where they are. So I'm going to move them eventually. Let's let's see if I actually do move them before I move out. It's it's 50 50 at this point. Uh, I can see my floor again. That's nice. That's always a win. What is that? What? <laughs> I see. You should get it for the cloud. Yep. Look at that chair. I see. Where's it from? Ten 
made from the 70s. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to go broke in here. <laughs> You're moving so erratically. <laughs> <laughs> it's so... Oh my god, this is so cute. This is so cute. Look at this. Look at this. How do they get this stuff in like mint condition? Look at this. Cowboy dreams. It's so good. Though. I'll just mourn the loss. <laughs> Hello, I just got a package. <laughs> okay, this I have been, I have been waiting on, I have been looking forward to. I need them to fit. <laughs> they are these, these ballet style heels. I saw them and I immediately just like fell in love with them. They're from a brand called Moto. The website says they'll fit, but I'm not entirely sure they will. And honestly, I'm at a point where I will rip out the back of this <laughs> in order to make it fit like that's how badly i want these shoes to work they're like a uh like a mew mew almost like a cross between a mew mew and those like steve madden e shoes like it's so rare for me to find shoes in my size i don't have much hope of this fitting but i really want it to okay so update on the shoes they don't fit but i figured out that if i remove this part, the, the insole part of the shoe, they do. So I'm gonna do that. I already did it for this, this shoe. I got this out of there. And it really puts into perspective like how these shoes are actually made. Like, I'd say this is a medium okay shoe construction. I've had worse from like Payless and stuff like that. But it really just makes me realize that like a lot of shoes are cardboard. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to like line this part, basically just like cut this out with a thinner fabric so that I'm not just rubbing against whatever this is, this foam thing and super glue. <laughs> and I'm going to do that for both. And they're like a nine and a half ish. They just barely fit. I'm, I'm a 10, like a 10 even at least for regular shoes, so like, that's how I have to get them to fit. One of the things that I've always had the kind of dream to do is to somehow make or manufacture shoes for people with bigger feet who want, like, I don't even want to say feminine options because that feels like not exactly what I mean, but like more interesting options. I feel like I've, ever since I was like 16 or whenever I grew to like, a nine, um, <laughs> a size nine in US women's. I've always really struggled with finding nice shoes that were, that I was able to wear with the kinds of clothes that I like. Like even the sneakers I wear, I, I sometimes get them in like a men's size, like eight and a half. Most of the shoes that I own and wear are either sneakers or they're shoes that I've gotten from like factories in China that will specifically if you ask, make a large size shoe, but one that's not, that's not good for my wallet. Like uh, those are like $60 shoes and they're like 30 worth $30. I feel like there's a whole market out there for people who are even bigger than me. My mom's 5'10", she's a size 11. Like I'm sure there are women who are 12s and 13s and 14s and 15s who want fun, interesting shoes. Someone, as someone interested in style, it's just hard to go to like a store and see the shoe that you really want. And guess what? It only goes up to a size eight. I would love to invest in a brand or create a brand that is able to make stylish shoes for people who want them in bigger, maybe even smaller specialized sizes. But I don't know, the whole process of like designing that and stuff is, it feels like a task. I'm not super business minded as of right now. So 
you know, it's something that I have to put on the back burner and just complain about. <laughs> In other news, ignore my dusty mirror. I have to go, let's see, what do I have to do today? I really need to like get rid of a bunch of stuff that I didn't, that I just have and that I carried with me when I moved that I have no place for. So like I have a bunch of wires and I read that you can give those to Best Buy and they'll recycle them for you. I just have so many wires that I've accrued that are basically the same thing and I can just use like one or two wires for like, they're all USB-C or some equivalent. Some clothes that I need to give to Goodwill. Yeah, I'm gonna see if that, I can do all that today. <laughs> oh no, the curse of earrings with the, with masks. I really should just take them off, but um, I can't, I can't compromise the fit. <laughs> Yeah, I just got out of Best Buy. Yeah, that was easier than I thought it would be. They were just like, just put it on the counter. <laughs> I love how Best Buy employees just don't care. <laughs> like, yes, give me nothing. Uh, I understand though, I also worked in retail and it's just soul sucking. Yes, I now am going to get, I'm just running errands today. I'm gonna get some heat tech socks <laughs> from Uniqlo. Then I'm going to donate the stuff that I accrued from for Goodwill or the thrift store. I don't know, I'll just find a thrift store. Yeah, productive day.